Sole is a difficult fish to catch as it buries itself in the sediment to hide. Fishers therefore use tickler chains to chase sole from the seabed. Pulse trawls are particularly efficient to catch sole because electric stimulation penetrates deeper in the sediment and sole curls up in the electric field and comes out of the seabed. The pulse system creates an electric field between wire-shaped electrodes. The pulse settings are constrained within legal boundaries and the electrical current flows for about 2% of the time. The strength of the electric field is strongest close to the conductors. Outside the net, the field strength is below detection level of fish. Fish buried in the seafloor experience a weaker field than those in the water above. In the electrical field, muscles are cramped for less than two seconds. Fish are immobilised and cannot swim away from the net. In tank experiments, none of the animals died after being exposed to a pulse. Muscle cramp can overload the vertebral column and cause injuries and fractures. This does not occur in flatfish and is rare in most round fish. Only cod is sensitive and 35% of the fish in the net may be injured. Fractures could harm the population if they occur in fish that are small enough to escape through the mesh. Because cod grow fast and many live outside the fishing area of pulse vessels, only a few cod will be affected with negligible consequences for the population. Sharks and rays use electricity to find food and can detect low frequency pulses of their prey. But because their electrosensors are adapted to low frequencies, they are not sensitive for the high frequency pulses used in sole fishery. Fish outside the net are not attracted or repelled by the pulse.